Welcome to Soultron. This is the video review for Shinkalion Z, Dark Shinkalion Absolute. And here's a look at his combined form, the size comparison, and you can see that he's definitely smaller than the new combiner. And here's a look at his box. And the cool thing here is they didn't even use CGI. This is like the actual figure and they just airbrushed it to look like it was CGI. So they actually used real posing for that. So very nice. And then you can see all the ridiculous things they can do. So you get the knight and rider or the horse and rider. You get the centaur mode and you get the combined robot mode that we're looking at now. And then of course you get five trains to make this guy. And then his instructions, nothing special. It's just newsprint as usual. And I bought this kind of secondhand so all the stickers have been applied. And here's a 360 look at this guy. You can see that he's got pretty smooth looking panels overall. So he's very sleek looking. And then he's got really deep um, panel lines so that shadows in really nicely. But I think overall the colors, the white version of this guy just looks much better than the black version. It's just much more interesting with his lilac kind of white color and then the lavender purple for his joints. Yeah, I think he just turns out really nicely. And then we can get a nice look at his head sculpt and that's also very well done. It kind of looks maybe like a fox. The crest of his helmet kind of has like a beast face and then he's got the his own face under that. Maybe even like a spider kind of look to it. There's all kinds of, it just, just looks very interesting with these extra set of eyes. And then he's got this really stupid crest that can plug into his sword here. And then you can go ahead and put that on. And then you can make his head look like that, which looks very stupid. It's now really wide. It kind of, like thematically it kind of fits. There's kind of like these six wings. So it's kind of got like an angel kind of theme to it and this Pegasus or this unicorn horn. Um, so yeah, it kind of, it thematically fits, but it looks very stupid. It just makes his head look really fat and his face is already fat. It needs that crest to kind of like slim him up. And then most annoyingly, this is made of rubber, of course, not soft plastic, it's rubber. And then his sword, take a look at his accessory. So his claymore looks very cool. It's a great looking sword. Just to remind people just how cool like a broad sword is. You don't really need to do anything fancy. Unfortunately, this is also made out of rubber. That's very annoying. Um, yeah, this would be a great accessory if, you, accessory if it was plastic, which I thought it was when I was buying this figure. So, uh, boo to that as well. But yeah, so this combined mode is pretty cool, pretty simple to put together. Um, didn't have to use the directions at all, so that's pretty fun. I, I do appreciate a simple combination, but let's go ahead and get him disassembled for his other modes. Oh yeah, I guess we should go over the articulation. So he's got 360 here. It's got one click of outward on this shoulder, but you get the outward motion down here. You do have bicep swivel in this black joint right here. Then he does have 90 degrees in the elbow. He's got like this pivoting fist, if that's useful for some reason. Um, he does not have waist articulation. He does have universal hips, so you can kick all the way out, all the way forward, all the way back, no problem there. These are a little bit looser than I would like, but I haven't really had issues with his hips collapsing. He does have 90 degrees in the knee, but this nonsense piece in the back does get in the way, but you can get rid of that. You can get a full little more than 90 degrees. So he's got this ugly back of the knee kibble and this is I've played with this guy a lot and that's like the only place that these can really peg in annoyingly so that's annoying and then he's got his thigh swivel and then he does have pivoting ankles and then it does pitch as well so he's got plenty of articulation his ankles are a little bit weak so he will like to do that a lot but yeah great articulation on this guy and he does have a ball joint neck, but the problem with all the Shinkalion Z is that these, whatever these muscles are, deltoids, get in the way so he can only turn his head this much, 
very useless. So his head needs to extend a little bit to clear that. But um, yeah, and then he does have this cool feature where you can grip the back of this like chest mouth and then that will let you open up the mouth and he can shoot his, I don't know, whatever you call that, super cannon out of his chest. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do like that and I like how all these teeth just nicely made up with each other. So that's very cool. Um, yeah, that's about as far as features on this guy goes. And then, oh yeah, he's got wing articulation. So you can like rotate these up. These are held on with these and these holes right here. So they're, they're not, they're not a great connection. They don't feel very good to be honest, but yeah, you can pitch the wings up, but yeah, the wings are probably the worst part of this. This kibble is just kind of useless. It doesn't add anything to the robot. I think if you just tear these off, actually, I think the robot starts to look better. And then you can go ahead and get rid of these shoulder cannons too. Let's get rid of that. And we get rid of this giant cannon, which, oh, I guess I forgot. This is an accessory. It's just leftover pieces, basically. It's the horse chest and tail. And then he's got the shield da down here, which does nothing in this position because it's underslung. So it's the worst place you could put a shield. But if we trim all this off and then his standard robot arms go back here, unfortunately, I think it'd be cool if his robot, regular robot arms would clip onto these arms make these arms bigger i think that would be good but yeah if we if we trim him down doesn't he look good i mean that's that's a pretty good looking robot right there and then his legs his standard robot legs are right here so we go ahead and yank those off too but he looks pretty cool just disassembled like this i really like this a lot okay so we're going to take all the bits we took off of him and you can see that he just transforms the same way as the regular Shinkalian. He just has oversized arms and oversized legs. But we can use all the bits we just tore off. Except for these. These are going to do nothing in his standard robot mode. But we can just turn these into arms. We've done this a thousand times. If you have Shinkalian Z, this is nothing new. And then we can turn his legs. He's got an adapter piece, which is kind of annoying because it only works for his combined robot mode. We can just point out the toes, open this section up, wrap this around, and that will become his legs. And then I like to just grab these pieces and put them here. This is kind of like the original, the original Shinkalion when you put these bits on, because now he's got these giant panels here. And then you can take all of this shoulder guns and you just unpeg those. And then you can see this is just the hips of the regular robot. And you're just going to peg in the legs to the hips. You're going to get a chest. Of course, we would normally use the chest that's included, which is this guy, but he's already doing something. So I'm going to use these pieces. And then you just peg in the arms off to the side here. And there we go. So this is basically his base robot mode. And there he is with his combined size. So you can see he does get a little bit of extra height. He gets a lot more beefy. So his legs get really thick and he's got giant shoulders and forearms. But he actually doesn't get much bigger. This one's only a little bit bigger. I think it would have been really cool if we could have used this core section here. I would have really liked if this could have become his new core section and you get this giant buff horse robot that would have been really cool if this could have been become his new chest or maybe even this way and his head could rotate around i think this would have made a great torso and then you can get the rider it could just be a separate robot and then the horse could have his own mode that would be pretty awesome and we could bring in shinkalion z too and you can see how they look and you can see i mean the change the world Shinkalion. And you can see that the Shinkalion Z have really skinny legs. You can't really tell as much with this guy because I pegged on these giant panels. But usually the big problem with these guys is that they're long and stretched out in the leg area. Like their arms and torso look really good. But then when you get down here, it, get, it all kind of falls apart. Whereas these guys just have much better proportions, especially like these guys' terrible little hips. 
Okay, anyway, let's get this guy ready for the next mode. So we're going to rip off all of his limbs as usual. And then we go ahead and install that core here. And there he is in his basic robot mode. And then we're going to go ahead and get the combined mode arms. And we're just going to straighten these out. These are going to become the rear legs of the horse. So you get that. You do the same thing to the other one. This is already obviously the front of the horse. And you can just peg this in at kind of a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to need to get these leg pieces and rip off these hips. And then you're going to rip these hips in half like they do in Shinkali on Change the World. And then you're going to point these toes this way and just peg these to two pieces together. And this piece feels very hollow because all it is is a pair of feet. It just becomes the combined legs. And then you're going to get... Let's see, we need, so the horse torso, and that pegs into the bottom of the feet. So you get this whole assembly, and then you're gonna go ahead and put the rear legs and just peg that in right into that hole right there. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab this giant cannon, and that's going to peg in back here to become the tail. And then you just need the front legs, so you need these things, and they're going to peg in here with the pointy side facing front. Oh no, I did that wrong. Pointy side faces back. So now you got most of a horse and then you're gonna need to take the guns and that's just going to slot in right there to become the legs, kind of a cheat on the legs. And then you're going to take this little adapter piece and just put it here because there's really no other good spot for it anyway. And there's the horse mode. So there's the basic horse mode and they don't look too bad together, right? They actually scale very pretty nicely. The horse is a little small in some ways and really thick in the back, but really skinny in the front, but not a terrible looking horse. He does not have eyes, which is very weird, but I guess that's to just emphasize that this is part of the robot and not a separate robot with any sentience. And then you can do some dumb things like you can take this stupid horn part and you can slide that up here and give him a really dumb looking hat. Um, it's supposed to make him look like a unicorn, I guess. It doesn't really work. And then you can take these extra little bits. You can peg them together. And then you can just shove those onto his back, maybe facing this way actually. And these will become like his Pegasus wings. Um, it's pretty dumb. They get in the way a lot, but that's about it. And then the shield you're just going to put in the robot's hand. And obviously you're going to give him his sword. Okay, great. That's how they look. And then you're just going to pop this robot onto the horse. You got to bend the knees up. And then you just... Throw him onto the back. There's no place for him to peg in, unfortunately. It would be nice if he could do that. Just get those wings out of the way so you can see what's going on. And there he is, seated on the horse. He mostly stably fits, but again, he doesn't peg in. All right, and here's a 360 of the horse mode. Not too bad, right? I think it does what it needs to do. The only annoying thing is the wings get in the way, so he can't really rotate his body or defend himself very well. He can't even lift up his sword because these wings are annoyingly in the way, but it's cool. And just because, here's the custom mini force horse and rider that I made a while back, which I think is very cool, but enormous. Okay, and are you ready for a third mode? Why not? Let's go ahead and get this guy, we're going to rip off his torso. We're going to rip off his legs. We're going to replace the horse's legs with his robot legs. And then just to make the horse legs look a little bit more powerful, we're going to go ahead and take these panels and close them up. And then we are going to take his torso and we're going to shove it up here. Actually, we're going to take this. We're going to collapse his horse neck back where it came from. 
and of course this dumb wing assembly is going to come off when you do that. So this needs to face front like this. And then you're going to take his whole robot assembly, move his arms forward because these dumb little wings are going to continue to get in your way. So you're going to rotate these back. Actually, I need to switch them up so they can rotate back more. But yeah, these are the, these extra panels are always just annoying. They just always get in the way. They add nothing to any of the modes. They're just continuously in the way. They should have. They could have handled that a lot better, I think. But we get the robot in there, and there you have his centaur mode. But technically, you get rid of this shield. You get his leftover waist piece and you're going to just point everything up and then this is just going to slot on top and then um, this is going to basically do nothing it's just going to peg in back here and then you can take these two like horse legs which just become cannons and you can just peg them back here on the rear legs just to get them out of your way they become kind of like boosters it's kind of ironic that all his guns are now facing backwards, making them all pretty useless. But there's your centaur mode, and that looks, um, if you don't put this on his head, this actually looks pretty good. I'm surprised. Uh, looking at pictures, it looks kind of dumb. Maybe in video it looks stupid, but in hand, this actually works out pretty nicely. And he's got this weird joint right here, which can kind of be useful. But yeah, he's pretty cohesive. He fits together very nicely. His legs, his front legs can bow out if you want. Um, it's kind of unnecessary, but he's got, of course, his uh, knee joint there, his pivoting ball joint ankles. He's got this joint here if you want to articulate his rear legs, give him like a kicking motion. Um, he's got a knee joint here that goes both ways. I think that's how a horse leg looks. So he's got a good amount of articulation. It's not bad at all. And then he's got this, of course. So not too bad. And then again, these do nothing but get in the way. You might as well just take them off. They're very pointless. Looks looks much better without them. And then it doesn't, and that allows him to rotate here as well. So he just looks much cooler when he doesn't have those wings doing nothing. Um, you can kind of just I like to peg these back here, just get them out of the way and pretend that this guy uses all his pieces. And you can see he gains a little bit of height compared to Shinkalion Z figures. So this guy would be very intimidating with all his extra mass now. And then, yeah, you could, if you wanted to, you could just have this guy ride on him. If, you want, if that's a thing you like. All right, and then we'll do a quick rotation of his centaur mode. And yeah, I think he really pulls it off. It works. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with transforming the core robot into the Shinkalion because you've probably seen this a lot if you've ever watched any Shinkalion Z video. Um, so yeah, this is how he looks in his train mode. Very excellent looking train. So nice, distinct looking tail and face makes a pretty cool looking kind of snake mode. And then we go ahead and we get all of our horse pieces and we're just going to start collapsing everything down basically. We're gonna rip off the tail, rip off the guns. These are, and rip off this wing backpack part. And these, all these brown parts, it's nice that it's color coded. All these brown parts will not become part of the train. They're just gonna sit on top, but you get the legs here. And you're going to rotate those down, rotate the fist down. And then you do have to parts form this. It would have been nice if it was just on a hinge. But you get that piece and that's already a train car. The guy comes with a lot of sled pieces. So you're going to go ahead and just peg that on wherever. They're all the same, so it doesn't really matter. So this will be the middle car now. And then you take this section. You're going to disassemble this from this. You're going to take the combined hips, put them back together into this configuration. You're going to take the torso of the horse. It's just going to slide together like this. You're going to rotate this up. And then the shield, 
will just peg on top, giving you another train car. And I like to just, uh, this train will be the front train for reasons. So we go ahead and peg that in the front. It can be a little bit difficult to get all four pegs, but there you go, two trains down, and then this one's already done. So very nice. You're just going to point the toes all the way this way, though. And then we just, so this was just the combined mode legs again, so very simple train. And then you just put that there, and then you can get your rear train there, you get your front train here, and you get a pretty cohesive looking train. Let's throw all of our guns and our sword on it. Okay, there's our train and everything stores on it. This guy's just so well thought out and everything is fun to play with. All the pieces are really intuitive. Um, it's pretty easy to get into every single mode if you just sit and think about how the different parts are used. Um, this guy was $100 on Amazon Japan now, so his price has gotten has increased. But I think this set is definitely worth it. I'm really surprised with how much I liked it. I did not expect to like it this much or at all, really. I thought I was just going to do a review and then have to sell it. But let me show you one more thing. Check out this cool fan mode he can do. He can become like this slithering naga, which is just really cool. I think if these joints were like Strux joints or something, he could actually tower over other Shinkalion and have this giant snake-like body, um, which I probably will do as a custom because I can't help myself. But yeah, that's just so cool that he can have this whole other extra random mode. Why not? And that reminds me of this custom Naga Shinkalion that I made a long time ago out of the Black Dragon. You can see he turned out pretty good. He looks pretty awesome. I especially like this. He just looks like uh, the Naga King. It's so cool, especially with his tail piece and all his armor pieces. Yeah, I think he ended up looking really awesome. I, I also think it's kind of funny. He's got like this little foot, which helps him stand. But it's also like the combiner port for him to do this mode, his centaur mode. But yeah, so that's a walk down memory lane. I made this guy in 2020. All right, anyway, I'll see you in the next one.